What's going on guys? Dreams with another not reduction problem to solve. This time we want to solve, uh, we want to prove, sorry, we want to prove P, alright? So there's a rule that says, let me show you guys, there's a rule that says if not P implies something and we've got not P implies not something we can get p okay so this is the negation elimination rule very useful and we use it a lot and by the way this one as well which is modus ponens will help us to solve these this tutorial so i can say oops so i can say line number one i'm gonna get the data out p implies q implies q then line number two, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say Q implies P. And then line number three, I need to say this, okay? So I'm going to say not P implies something. And down at the bottom, I'm, I need to say not P implies not something, all right? So... I can see that if if I can prove uh, if I put P down here and not P, this will be easy to prove because I can say not P assumption and then not P from the assumption and this one here I can see that if I can get Q I can prove P, right? So let me let me see how this is going to work, all right? And we can say on line 3.1, not P is assumption, all right? And then line 3.2, there's no way that, that I can prove, um, that I can get, uh, what's it called, uh, P, yeah? So I need to say, let me see, let me see. I need to say, I need to say, this is going to be, if I can get Q. So this is going to be P implies Q, all right? And this is because I want to get Q, because if I if I can get Q, I can use modus ponens down here, and then I'm done, all right? So another subcomputation box, because I've got an implication, 3.2.1, this is going to be P and then 3.2.2 I need to use this rule again because in order to get Q I need to I need to say uh, Q implies something so this is going to be not Q implies something and not Q implies not something all right so I'm going to say uh, not Q implies P because I've got P and I've got not P down here. So I'm going to say uh, not Q implies P. And then at the bottom, I'm going to have not Q implies not P. And then I can get Q out. All right. So 3.2.2.1, not Q's assumption, 3.2.2.2. I can say P from 3.2.1. Then I can close this subcomputation box. Just let me delete this. So I can close the sub subcomputation box. I can close it. Uh, by the way, let me close it with red. I can close it like this. And here is a. Here is a. Oops. Yeah, just like that. And here we want to prove Q. Here we wanted to prove P. And we are done. So line 3.2.3, I can say not Q implies not P. All right. So 3.2.3.1, I can say not Q because it's assumption. That's easy, 3.2.3.2. I can say not P from, not P 
from 3.1 okay so then I'm done with this I can close it like this just like that I can close it let me just make it look beautiful just for you guys because I love you and then I could get Q so I can say three I can say three point two point uh, point four I can say a uh, Q using uh, three point two point two and three point two point three I can get Q because of that and the rule is negation elimination just like that then I can say online uh, brr, hold on sorry by the way I just needed to close this off because it will look nicer for me just let me close this off but it will be the same step sorry about that so then no, actually no sorry about that actually not sorry so then three yeah so now the Q is proved so I'm gonna close this off just like that yeah Q Q is proved so now we've got this P that we want to prove I don't think that there, there will be too uh, too much room for us but anyways yeah you guys can see this so then I need to say uh, what do I need to say sorry guys sorry about this so then I need to say line 3.3.3 3. 3. and I can say uh, P yeah because of this Q and this one here which says uh, I've got the Q then I've got Q implies P then I can say P easily right so then this is proved I can close it like this yeah oops yeah then just let me scroll up sorry about this guys I hope you guys have been copying this because otherwise you won't be able to see but this is the proof so far and I can say line number four Oops. line number four I can say this bit so not P implies not something so I can say not P implies not P which is easy to prove so I want to say 4.1 not P then 4.2 I can say not P from 4.1 by the way this is assumption and let me close this off sorry I'm sorry guys let me close this off so that's proved and then I can say line number five I can say what I can say I can say P because I've got not P implies P, which I've done, and then I've got not P implies not P, therefore I can get P. So there we go. And this is once again negation elimination. So let me show you guys once again the proof so you guys can see it properly. You can copy it down and learn this stuff. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.